<laughs> so this is Noah and Alice here from Northern Scavenger. We're here today driving up to Wabakimi Provincial Park. Doing a little pit stop in Nipigon. 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 We're about an hour out from Thunder Bay. We're almost there. You know what? 18 hours went by faster than I expected. Today, the, the goal was we were just gonna drive. <laughs> <And with that, laughs> I think we did that. <laughs> with that mindset, we know where to be. We just drove. Checkpoints for Tim Hortons, small towns, washrooms. It's been the day pretty nicely. And now we're treated with this beautiful sunset and some uh, colorful clouds as we roll in to the final stage of our drive. La 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 la. We're currently at Wabakimi Wilderness Adventures on Matisse Lake, just south of Armstrong, Ontario. Right now we're just piecing together our final gear, uh, bringing it down to the water where the plane's gonna pick us up and fly us in. Uh, we should be catching the flight just before noon. I think this guy might be coming for us right now. Yeah, we've got the mouse. <laughs> this thing's coming right for us. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Alright, so we're going to Wabakimi Wilderness. With that, we are alone. We start our trip, boys and girls, here we go. All right, so the trip has officially started. We just got dropped off by the float plane. It has left us now. It's just us. Just us in the wild. Just us, the wild. Noah has us, the first fish of our trip. One of many. So just as we were making our way up into this area that we're in right now, uh, we're coming against the current and we were trying to paddle our way up a set of rapids and Noah snapped his paddle. Day one, not even <laughs> one day, day one. into this trip yet. Day one. We're a paddle down. So that was gonna be our backup. So now we just have to be a little bit more careful. Really a beautiful area though. It's nearing the end of the day. We took a kind of a side route to see some waterfalls. It turned out to be a little more arduous than we expected, but the views have been really nice. We're hoping there's some pickerel in these waters because we are hungry. So we reached our campsite for the night. 
It is a very unique, flat, rocky island. We're about to make dinner. We caught a couple pickerel for a little shore dinner. Just gonna clean them up quickly. Alex is gonna set up the tent and we're gonna start this trip on the right foot. We just made it to our very first camp on our big Wabakimi trip. And this is it. It's beautiful right here. For those of you that don't know, pickerel fins, also known as pickerel wings, are awesome fried. Woo! That looks good. ceremonial burning the paddle that lasts one day out here. Adios, amigo. Thanks for lasting me five kilometers. So it's day two, bit of a chilly morning this morning, but absolutely beautiful fog and mist around us. We're in between Brennan Lake and Granite Lake in the network of uh, rapids and islands that are in between. So one thing I like making for us is a prop meal, and that is oatmeal with protein powder. And it is pretty good on its own, but I also like to add different additives. We have cranberries, Alex dehydrated some bananas, raisins, pumpkin seeds, chocolate chips. So you know what? Every morning you can throw in what you want, don't throw in what you don't want, mix it up. We're gonna make our way up the Allen Water River towards um, Wabakimi Lake. making our way up Granite Lake and we decided to stop at this little miniature island for a little lunch snack. We're gonna have some, what is it, smoked pork loin and some trail mix. This guy right here. We just got to the very top of Granite Lake where we're about to enter into the section where there's Granite Falls. Another really cool area on the map because there's just like a whole bunch of interconnected little sets of rapids that are all making their way around all these little small islands, which is really cool. So currently on the portage. Oh shit. Around Granite Falls. No one, I just ripped two 30 plus inch pike. Right out of there. Two. Two of them. Gorgeous. Woo.
So we're nearing the end of the day, and we just did our final portage, which happened to be around a set of rapids. Another good thing about this set is there seems to be an awesome campsite right on the point here. I think Alex is snagged. So we got a little rain earlier, so we set up some tarps. It's probably about nine o'clock now, maybe a little later. And uh, we caught a pickerel, so we're just gonna have a shore dinner. And our tarp set up. Dinner tonight is a pickerel caught by Noah himself. And we've got Dehydrated rice, which we're trying for the first time, made with tomato soup and beans mixed into it. A Bushman's homemade chili. That's exactly what it is. That's perfect. Alright, so it's day three. Today our game plan is to paddle uh, most of Wabakimi Lake down into the lower uh, Wabakimi. There's a bunch of waterfalls and rapids in between that we might try to uh, camp at tonight, but uh, we'll see how far we make it. It's about a 20 kilometer paddle to like where all the rapids and everything start, so we'll see if, how we're feeling by then and if we want to continue on to get another sweet spot by some moving water. So we're going to start our day by attempting these rapids. Hey! We found another little sneak route. It's pretty deep, there might be some pickerel in here. entered the big water paddling. Big, big water. Welcome to Wild Kimmy Lake. <laughs> We're in the middle of Wabakimi Lake. It's probably the biggest water that we've had on the trip so far. Probably also the biggest waves that we've had on a lake. But we're just bouncing along. We got the, the wind behind us. We're not complaining. We're running some line. Haven't had any hits yet. Just got to our campsite. The wind's picked up a bit, but luckily the wind was on our back. So we, we've done about 20 kilometers. So I spent the last hour or so walking down the river to the other lake to catch us some self some um, dinner. Uh, the fishing there was great. At a point it was almost every cast getting a pickerel. Coming back though was really tough. Alex lost a croc. I'll let him explain that story. I lost a croc. <laughs> Rough. But we did get two pickerel. And that's what we're cooking up right now. So we got some dinner. Looks like a storm's coming in. So we battened down the hatch <laughs> and just <laughs> made like a little like rat hole here. <laughs> Welcome to our survival setup. It's gonna be cozy under there. We just pretty much jammed all our stuff in under there. Again, side moving water. Can't be beat.